horror fans, once again, it's the Horror My Samani G, and today I'm going to do another video tag. Yes, this is going to be the Hellraiser tag. We have such sights to show you. <laughs> now, this tag was uh, created by my dear good friend and fellow were witch Queenie Todd. Yes, Queenie Todd created this tag. Oh, yeah, she created the werewolf tag, and she searched all throughout the horror community on, the, on and online to make sure that this was not done. And she created this uh, Hellraiser tag. There are eight questions in the tag, and let's go on and let's do the Hellraiser tag. All right, let's begin with question number one. Question number one is, what is your favorite Hellraiser movies and why? Me, it's obviously got to be the first one, Hellraiser. <laughs> yeah. uh, this was uh, directed by Clive Barker. It was based upon a novel called The Hellbound's Heart. It was a small short story, and uh, it was a fascinating movie. Uh, you have the Lamont configuration, but we didn't know what it was called at the time. Uh, we have a very interesting storyline where um, Ashley, her uh, father, and her uh, stepmother are moving into her uncle's house. Well, unfortunately, her uh, supposedly disappeared uncle uh, is brought back to life because, unfortunately, he discovered the puzzle box back when he was away somewhere in the country. And he opened the box, the Cinnabites get him, and uh, he's been there. But uh, once the blood is uh, dropped onto the floor, he's resurrected, and he had an affair with uh, his brother's wife. And eventually, she starts killing him, so that way uh, he can get back to his skin. He can get back his skin because he has no skin all over his face. People who've seen this movie, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, very fascinating film. Obviously, Doug Bradley as Pinhead. They have the Cenobites. We're introduced to him. Uh, he has his favorite line. We have such sights to show you. <laughs> I mean, what better way can you get anything better than the first uh, Hellraiser? No, Hellraiser 2 it was okay. It wasn't as good. I mean, you had... Uh, which we call Julia. She returns back in this one. She's skinless because uh, what you call him, her uh, supposed lover, Larry, fed her to the Cenobites. She's brought back to life and she goes about, she uh, decides to um, give her soul to the Leviathan, which is the entity that's in this dimension where the Cenobites live. And uh, it was a pretty good film, not as good as the first one. Now, I actually liked the third one better. I actually thought that was pretty good. A lot of people did not like the third one, but I thought it was pretty good. It's To me, it's uh, Pin and Head is best. <laughs> so I, I definitely like the third one. I actually also enjoyed Bloodlines. I actually thought Bloodline was good, uh, pretty good, too, because in Bloodlines, we learned the name of the box. is called the Lament Configuration. It was created by Toy Man. Uh, way back, I believe, in the 16th century. I probably got that wrong. Uh, well, I probably got that wrong, but I know that's at that time. And I thought that was a pretty good uh, uh, film, too. Uh, I won't talk about any of the others after, after the third, after the fourth one, uh, after Bloodlines, because most of them are, they suck, they're terrible, they're horrible. I think only watch Hellraiser, uh, Hell, I think it was, Hellraiser Hellbound, I think that's the only one that starred Dean Winters, and that's where we see um, Christy return back for the third time. I think that was the third time she play, uh, played uh, Ashley again. And, uh, but all the others, I eh, really don't care about that one. But for me, it's always going to be the original uh, Hellraiser. Question number two, what are the worst movies in the series and why? Well, I just got over it. <laughs> Anything after the bloodlines. <laughs> Terrible. They're horrible. Uh, one of the reasons why, and I learned this earlier before this tag came out, some of these films uh, uh, were not a Hellraiser script. They were just a series of scripts that no one didn't know what to do with them until finally someone decided, hey, let's make a Hellraiser movie, just dump pin in it and, and uh, people will go see it. That's why they're so terrible. Uh, yeah, but anything probably after um, uh, the fourth bloodlines they're all terrible. They all suck. Some of them are, I've heard. I haven't seen them. Some of them I heard they're they're okay. Some of them have mixed reviews. Uh, but no, I have not seen them. Most of them just are just plain terrible because, as I stated before, they're not an actual Hellraiser movie. They were just some obscene scripts lying around, and someone decided to dump pin in it and make it a Hellraiser movie. <laughs> Bad. 
Question number three, who are your favorite human characters in this series and why? Well, you got to give Frank. Frank was a pretty good, uh, <laughs> he was a pretty cool dude, uh, despite the fact that not only was he after Julia, but he also seemed to have some um, lust for Ashley as well, uh, with his come to daddy. <laughs> seemed he had some things for uh, Ashley as well, so you got to give Frank uh, he's pretty good. I love Ashley. She was pretty good in in, in, in the series as well. Um, let's see, I really don't know of any other people that I like uh, in the film, uh, in the, any humans in the film, but uh, obviously Frank, Julia, and Ashley are probably the three best uh, human characters I like in the series. Question number four, who are your favorite Cenobites and why? Well, obviously, the favorite one's got to be Pinhead. Who can't? Who can't uh, not like Pinhead? Uh, he's uh, very in control. He knows what he wants. He knows what he is. Uh, all he basically wants to do is just to torture you and rip your soul apart. And that's basically what his job is. He's very good at his job. Uh, I liked his origin story in 3. Uh, you'll see some of his backstory in 3. I like how he was uh, just a, a, a soldier, I believe, in World War One. If I got my research right. Uh, he eventually discovered the Lamont configuration and eventually served hell. He can eventually become in Pinhead. And uh, eventually he, uh, and unfortunately in the second one, he is, his watch performed splits. But we actually see their true selves prior to them becoming Cinebites in the second one, which I thought was pretty interesting. <laughs> yeah, but definitely you got to give, like I said, uh, Pinhead. I can't really think of any other Cinebites that I found fascinating. Maybe the chatterbox uh, in one where uh, he uh, grabs Christy by her hand and puts his fin her fingers in her throat. And all he does is because <laughs> he can't really talk because he's got real big teeth. Maybe the chatterbox in a centibite is pretty good. Uh, there's a female centibite that uh, I thought she was pretty good. Uh, when she uh, walks up through the hallway about to attack Christy, she's got her some type of hook. Uh, going up the steps and blood is coming off from the witch I thought that was fascinating too. But yeah, but yeah, definitely Pinhead. Can't top Pinhead. Question number five. What is your first, what was your first Hellraiser film? Well, I would see the first one. I uh, saw it in the theaters when it first came out. Everyone was sketchy in the theater as well because they never saw anything like that before. Uh, some people had some trouble following it because of how the movie was paced, but it really, I had no problems following it neither. Uh, some people, um, uh, that first scene uh, where we see uh, Frank getting re uh, Frank gets resurrected. Ooh, man, that was, that was great. I love that scene. <laughs> and I said, oh, man, we're definitely in for something uh, for this. I love the practical effects. I love the uh, makeup and the design of the Cenobites. They were very fascinating. You know, it was pretty good. So, uh, yeah. Obviously, saw the first Hellraiser film was the first Hellraiser film, and saw it in theaters. Question number six: What was your favorite scene? In, what was your favorite scene in the series? Well, I just talked about it when Frank gets resurrected. <laughs> it's a very fascinating scene. It, uh, by the time he is, uh, you see his skeleton come out. Uh, it's a very gross scene. Uh, uh, by the time he's skinless, half his body is not halfway formed. A, uh, oh boy, it looks fascinating. So you got to give the makeup artists and the practical effects team a great job of what they did in that entire scene. So definitely Frank's resurrection in the first Hellraiser. Question number seven, what is your favorite quote in the series? Well, there's lots of famous quotes in the series. Um, I believe in um, the end of Bloodlines, uh, Pinhead, when he realizes that he was beaten by, uh, by the merch, in the final scene, he says, Jesus wept. And I like that line. But obviously, the best line in the series comes when Pinhead says, We'll tear your soul apart. <laughs> you can't get a better line than that. It's almost as better as this Freddy's Welcome to Prime Time, bitch. <laughs> okay, the final question, question number eight. If you open the box and was turned into a Cenobite, what would you look like? Hmm, that's interesting. Knowing me and my crazy self, I'll probably have a whole bunch of uh, computer stuff all over me since I am a computer geek. I'll probably be uh, tortured uh, with computers and have uh, like a typewriter, uh, what you call all over me. 
uh, I might have old uh, floppy disks somewhere, or I might have some um, memory sticks jammed up in my eyes, or I might have some type of launcher to launch CDs, not like how that dude was in 3, but I probably have a lot of some type of um, launcher where I launch CDs and shoot and kill people and launch them that way. You know, that way. Or I might have some other crazy computer or technological stuff uh, in me. So I definitely would, if I were to become a Cenobite, I would probably look like some half, uh, real distorted, half Android looking monster if I were to become a Cenobite. <laughs> Well, horror fans, that is it. That is the uh, Hellraiser tag. Once again, this is Queenie Todd's Hellraiser tag. I'll leave a link in the description below to a link to her channel. She just celebrated her uh, first year coming back on YouTube. She's doing very well. I love her channel a lot. She's got some good content. So if you haven't seen her, go check her out. I'll tell her that the horror miser, she affectionately calls me Grandpa Horror. <laughs> tell her that I sent you over there. Uh, if you decide to do this tag, please make sure that you give it a credit because he is going to create a playlist just like you did with a rare what tag. So please make sure that you've done the tag and make sure she does get the credit. Now, in this part of the video, this is where I'm supposed to come tag anybody. But what I want to do is this. If you're watching this video right now, you have not been officially tagged by the horror by Money G. But I will personally tag you, Lee McCoy from Drum Dumb. Drum Dumb. I'll get that right. Uh, Lee McCoy loves the Hellraiser City. It's almost like he loves Halloween. Uh, he's pr practically watched all of the Hellraiser. So, Lee, I don't know. He has not done that Michael Myers tag that I tagged him. I figured he, if anyone would love to do that tag, it would be him. I would want to officially tag you, Lee McCoy. Uh, so, uh, I hope that you spread, get this word spread out so you can do this tag because I'm pretty sure if anyone's going to have fun doing this tag, it's definitely Lee from Drum Dumps. But that's my video for today, uh, horror fans. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up because it does help the channel out a lot. And once again, if this is your first time here, please hit that subscriber button. And of course, ring that notification bell. That way you can come and enjoy the horror experience with me, the Horror Miser Money G. And as always, all my social media links will be down in the description box below as well. Once again, my name is Lamont Smith, better known as the Horror Miser Money G. And always remember, horror rules. Ha 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 ha. We'll tear your soul apart. We have such fights to show you.